All right, guys, we're here today with another adventure. I got the QSFP Tech uh, media converter here. They have make a whole bunch of different ones. This one is one I've been wanting for a while. I've told you guys about it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how awesome these things are. Uh, this will work on any router. So the reason I got it, it has a 10 gig SFP plus. So if you have 10 gig SFP plus in your router and you have a modem and you wanna do 2.5, 5 gig on your router, but you, your SFP plus can only do 10 gig or one gig, then guess what, baby? Get one of these. This thing is freaking awesome. So basically what this does, it has an RJ45 and an SFP Plus. So the SFP Plus is 10 gig only. The RJ45 though is 100 megabit, 1000 megabit, one, uh, 2.5 gig, gigabit, 5 gigabit and 10 gigabit. And it auto, whatever port that's plugged in the other end, it'll automatically set that port. So if it's 2.5, this thing's gonna go, oh, there's 2.5 ethernet in there. Boom, I'm gonna break it out to a 10 gig, like a switch, 10 gig ethernet. So you'll be able to get your 2.5 or your SFP uh, plus WAN connection. You will be able to get that 2.5 five gigabit connection over it, no freaking problem. Because remember, this is like a little switch, just like a switch at your home. Just because you're, um, you know, you're, uh, uh, you know, you have a 10 gig switch in your house, well, it doesn't mean you can't get your one gig connection from the 10 gig, you're still gonna be able to do 10 gig through it. So that's exactly what this is. Obviously, it can ha handle up to 10 gigabits, so if it has 2.5 gig connection coming from it, it's gonna handle it and pass it on right through, like no freaking problem. So yeah, so let's rock and roll and get into that intro here, baby. <laughs> All right, so the first thing is we're gonna do is we're gonna open this thing up. So, hey, let's get into that unboxing. All right, guys, let's get into the fiber, fiber media converter. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. We got our SFP Plus, and our RJ45. Remember this port will do 100. 1000, 2.5 gigabit, 5 gigabit, and 10. And it will send whatever that is, whatever signal this is getting over to the 10 gigabit connection, it'll just throw it all down that pipe. As much as that 10 gig can handle. Freaking awesome. Let's see what else we got, little instructions. The power for it, like I said, nothing. DC 5, 12 volt. And what we do, we'll plug the RJ45 in. And then we will plug, take this out. Now, the cool thing is you don't have to use fiber on this. You can use DAC cables, which I have right here, or fiber. Holy crap. This is really in there. And I don't want it to get pushed back anymore. Get out of there. Ugh. Oh man. I almost have it. Just come out. Man, they really got that in there. Unless it got pushed in there somehow. Okay, come on. There we are. Woo, got it out. All right, so now, make sure it's the right way. There it is. You can use fiber or you can use a DAC cable, which I'm using, direct copper. DAC cable, baby, yeah. Remember with DAC cable, you do get faster for shorter runs because DACs don't have to convert like fiber does. So fibers are the best for long runs and these DAC cables, remember, they're good for at the storage, at the actual server and your network rack itself. Anything other than that, fiber is rocking and rolling then. And then it goes down to RJ45 after that. But yeah, that's the stuff. It is freaking awesome. Let's put this in now on my WAN port 
and check this out because guess what my modem only does 2.5 i mean it does 2.5 but my udm on rj45 only does one gigabit so i'm going to switch over to the wan on the sfp plus port and connect this to it and my modem should recognize that this can go to 2.5 gig and that the modem is 2.5 gigabit so it should just boom send this 2.5 gig signal over gigabit signal over that 10 gig sfp plus as you guys can see there are also dip switches on this thing it's pretty freaking awesome so i will have the instructions posted up here of what the dip switches are what they do and what order to put them in by default you just have to leave them as is and you'll get your awesome speed but if you want to do other stuff with this thing other than what i'm using it for there are other things you can do let's go and see some speeds all right guys now we're in the interface so you guys can see I'm logged into the port modification on my UDM Pro, not Pro SE, just Pro. And remember with this device, the SE can now do five gigabit and the UDM Pro can do five gigabit and 2.5 gigabit. So freaking awesome. So I'm gonna show you a speed test right now. Um, you can see my, my server cabinet over there. Uh, it's opened up right now and I'm gonna show you, I'm running right now. As you can see, right here, the one gig connection. And we're gonna run it, as you can see right here in the diagram, it is the one gigabit, port nine. And we're gonna do a speed test. I know people are streaming right now, so it might not be as powerful. Uh, let me refresh. There we go, here we go. Here we go. There we go, 940, 39, 945 sometimes, yeah. People are streaming right now from my server, so, oh, okay, I got 42, okay. Well, yeah, it went down because they're streaming. Oh, we'll go up, let's see. I got someone streaming music right now. Oh, is it gonna keep it? Uh, yeah, it keeps it, okay. So 42, all right, guys, so, Let's put the adapter on now. All right, we got the adapter right here. Freaking awesome. Look at this. This is gonna be fun. So now what we're gonna have to do is take this off. I'm going to put that right in there. Take this out. Put this right in here. Put this in here and watch my modem's gonna restart because there's no internet. Oops, wrong way. That port right there. We will plug her in. So now, no internet. We should watch this in a minute here. Should go off. Let's go in three. Just give it some time. And look, it lit up blue now. We got the blue light. Because it's now going to be able to do multi-gig because this modem from Netgear can do 2.5. So it should just restart itself in a minute here. I can't do it. There it goes. Boom. Yeah. I could have done it from my phone or from the computer itself. Now we're going to go back to the computer. And I probably should have done this first, but you know what? This is what happens in the world. So this is the SFP Plus. We're gonna switch this over. So I'm gonna click this port here, because it doesn't matter really. We're gonna change this to LAN, but I'm not gonna save it, because now I can make this WAN 1 and this WAN 2. And we're gonna hit apply. So now it's applied. This one is WAN 2, this one is WAN 1. You don't have to do that. It is set as, you know, failover, so it automatically go to this one. So now, we just gotta wait till the modem's back up and running. But that is now, and then this light, we gotta wait for this light from here. Oh, yep, it's already starting up on there now. So now we just gotta wait till this has internet, and then we'll refresh that page, and we'll do it. And this is in the, um, you know, it's testing internet from the PDU Pro in the back there, and which I will have this plugged in once I permanently set this up 
this will be on the PDU Pro and set to restart too if there's no internet, just to make sure that it will restart both those devices. That'll, this one will be half the second to boot up. It's really no software at all. Just a switch, here we go. Waiting for this last light. There it goes, blinking. One, let's see. Let's see. Come on here. Here it goes. And people are streaming now. They ain't gonna be streaming now. <clears throat> but it's music, so I mean, maybe they downloaded a lot of it. We'll see. There it goes, it's on. So now, let's go back and see if we can search. Making sure the internet's working. Not yet, just give it a minute. Sometimes it takes a minute. There it is, we are rocking and rolling. All right, so now we're gonna hand over here and do a speed test, baby. Let's do it. Boom, 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 show me the money. Oh, I love the money. Oh gosh, yes. And remember, as I always say, you don't always go with the first one. We're gonna go with another one because it's just the first speed test. All right, guys. All right, so this is the actual recording of the video, guys. Uh, we're actually gonna do a speed test now. Weird, it was like when my X split was on, it was the signal was going down. It was freaking weird. But now with the X split off, it's like it just goes up every time now. No freaking problem. That was so weird. This is what I'm talking about. You gotta test stuff out every time. Look at that. All because X splits off. So I'm having to use snippet tool recording and then that's the way it's working. We'll do it again. All because of X split. Well, now it's weird. Either gotta be something or what it's taken from the thing because that is freaking weird because now look exactly what I'm talking about and that's exactly what it should be doing. Like, that is weird. Look at this, X splits off now. And now it's just rocking and rolling because I'm using snippet tool. That is freaking weird. Look at this. I gotta test things out because I knew it was going weird. That's why I did the test like, well, I didn't have X split going when I was testing this. So that's freaking weird. And that's what I needed in there. So this is the actual speed. It's going to kick butt, guys. This thing is just awesome. It works freaking phenomenal. You should have no freaking problems. Unless you're doing, a lot of people are using XSplit, I guess. But I'll have to, maybe it's an update or a glitch, but I need to look into that. That's crazy. But people are streaming right now, so I'm not worried about the upload, really. 41, 42. 42, it should always be, oh, one percentage off. People are streaming some music right now. I already know who it is, but probably killing, well, I haven't turned it off in a while, so they're not killing me. But yeah, just wanted to show this. All right, guys, so that was the QSFP Tech MIDI converter. I think it's awesome. The weird thing was about the stupid, uh, my, uh, dang it, my video recording program was making it weird. I don't know, it was sending data out or getting downloads. I haven't updated it, so maybe it was getting some updates. I have done it on my laptop. That was on my different computer that I haven't used for a while, so maybe it was, I don't know, that's still a lot for going down a little bit, but whatever. Stable whatever every time now 415 425 435 every freaking time it's amazing remember i'm only paying for 1200 that's all comcast offers that's what their biggest plan is they don't go any higher unless you're in business so that is freaking awesome the thing works i recommend though getting a smart plug or um a uh the smart power strip or the pdu pro from unify if you're gonna use this on unify other brands might have to use something different, but it's nice to have um, the power in case something happens to the internet. And it's, I mean, it doesn't mean it's gonna be that thing's fault, but just have that thing restart anyways, just to make sure that you kind of cover your basis there. But yeah, it kicks butt, it rock and roll, and I'm super duper excited. Remember, you, I'm using DAC on it. You can use fiber on it too. Remember, uh, DAC uh, is faster than fiber. Um, it just doesn't go as far as fiber. So runs that are out of the server room, definitely want to use fiber. 
And if you can't use fiber, use RJ45. But DAC cables, you can use DAC and fiber in the server room, but DAC cables are more preferred because they don't have to convert the media, which they have to convert the signal when it's fiber. Other than that, I hope you and your family are having a rock and roll day. Hey, and if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And the most important thing is, you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Catch you next time. Thank you.